This is really such a troll potential champion. Anyway, to counter him, pick someone like Morgana, since with her spell shield and also root will make him completely useless. Blitzcrank who can grab him easily and make it game over. And also because he can pull people from his magical journey and interrupt it. And also Thresh for exactly the same reason. And plus, he can easily engage when Bar leaves the lane to go and get meeps. Soraka who can root golden enemies quite easily. Karma who can poke, shield and essentially be a much better support. And Braum since he has no escapes or a real way of getting his AD carry away from him make other good counters as well. Bard's passive is complicated, or so it seems. Basically, just his mere presence both opens up the creation of chimes at random locations on the map that he can pick up for extra movement speed, and it also attracts little critters called meeps that follow him. He can have up to 9 followers and they'll empower his basic attacks to deal extra damage as well as slow enemies at 5 chimes, deal splashback damage at 15 chimes, and enlarge this zone at 35 chimes. His Q will make him fire a burst of spirit energy that deals damage as well as stuns enemies if it hits a wall or any other enemy after the first one. His W you makes him conjure up a shrine that grants allies or himself movement speed and a small heal. If they don't get picked up for 10 seconds, then they get empowered. His E makes him open a portal within the walls of Summoner's Rift that allies and himself and even enemies can travel through as well. Finally, his ultimate sends a magical energy to a very long range that targets everything, turrets included and turns the era into stasis for 2.5 seconds. In terms of spells, Ignite is very likely because of its early game dependence and kill potential with a single stun. You on the other hand can take either Ignite or Exhaust depending on your supportive playstyle. As for power spikes, his level 1 with just his stun is very interesting and he'll always stay relevant because of his ultimate plays. He is also quite dependent on how many chimes he has and unlocks a power spike at 5, 15 and 35. The amount of memes following him also defines how strong he can fight. Redemption and Locket make his 2v2s quite strong. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, get away from your minion line and allies to not get stunned, don't follow through his magical journey without vision and you can Zonias out of the ultimate if you time it right. Ultimately, have fun doing it.